Hello everyone. So this part of the video, I'll be walking you guys through on how to fetch all the data that's coming from the Superbase uh, table, which we have just created called Users Table, and that table will be having multiple set of data of users. So what? Are we going to do right now is that we're going to fetch all the data that are coming from that particular data uh, from that particular table users table in the form of api json api and we'll be making sure that we must be able to uh, destructure that json api and then we can make it into an repeatable array of data that can be used inside our table inside a table that we're going to create so that's the next plan that we're going to that's the next step that we're going to make right now so first of all, let's uh, go to our yeah we are in app.js file here. So inside add app yeah app.js jsx here we're gonna we're gonna uh, add a table uh, yeah HTML code here. So in this case, it's gonna be a table like this, and it's gonna be an tag open and closing tag like this. And inside table, I'll be having two more tags. One is for the head. Like this, T H like this, should be like this, and below T H should be and T body by the way. Okay, like this. So T H and T body will be having the. This is how we are able to differentiate between the the head and the body of the table. So inside our head of the table, we're gonna have the type. We're gonna have the name of the the columns, for example. So in order to do that, we need to be having T, T row first. So T R should come first. So inside the row, we're gonna have yeah. Of course, we can say tr first. So inside tr is gonna be the row, the name of the. I mean, it's gonna be a row, and that row will be having three columns, and those three columns we're gonna we need, we're gonna have a th. We're gonna call it th by the way. Those three columns are called first of all, it's gonna be id. Okay, followed by the second thing. The second uh, column should be the name. Yeah, yeah. Of course, it's like the, exactly the same as the supervisor table we have just created and yeah let me just open okay okay meanwhile it's opening let's go at the third uh, column which is going to be h like this okay so currently at the moment let's click and save and let's see what are the changes here as you can see the changes is i mean has been made here but it's not very i've made it into a table but so what can we do is that we can actually go to our okay so currently we are at our app.jsx and we have just created this table here. So what we're going to do here is that as you can see here this id, name, age is all actually because it's actually centered. The reason why because of the index here. Index we have all, we have made it the body to be uh, centered and as you can see here margin 0, uh, display flex. All these items are actually listed here are actually making this thing, this particular table is going to keep it as it is because it's just for uh, educational purposes we're not going to make an actual project yet it's just to learn on how to make a table so in that table we'll be having these three columns it's id name and age so that way the next thing is that we also need to have a styling a specific styling just for the table here let's go to our app i mean app.css and i'm just going to place it like this so in this case inside app.css we're going to be we're going to be heading the, the styling for table so in this case i'll have to say table that table will be having a set of uh, like styling uh, way to actually make it looks like an actual table that that's that should be having a quality uh, qualities of a good table that for example such as it's, it's supposed to supposed to be collapsible and which means that it should be uh, how to say react you should be sensitive to responsiveness and those are things that makes a good table so let's add some styling here as you can see here we have table so the first thing is going to say border collapse. So border collapse will be the one that will be able to make it responsive. Make it like a responsive. Uh, yeah, it's going to be collapse. Okay. So the next thing is that uh, after we have put border collapse, we, can, we need to have a maximum width. So in this case, actually, it can be a maximum width that comes along. With, I mean, that should be fit your fitting your uh, screen size. In this case, it's going to be 900 pixels. The next thing is that we're going to, I will be adding just a width. The width will be having. I'll, I'll be feeling this hundred percent percentage of uh, width that should be able to uh, fit the whole maximum width of nine hundred pixels. The next thing is it's going to be having a. I will be having margin. Uh, just just so that we are able to give some spacing 
in between in between the uh, uh, the table is basically like around margin around the table of 2 rdm and should be auto and this to make it the center so let to keep let to save it everything like this and that's the first step here this is just this is just for the table styling once you're able to save this the next thing is that i like to make it specifically for tables uh, the th and td which is the uh, will be the one that i'll be making it to for columns so in this case th and it also should be a table for td so basically this is like this is the styling for columns by the way and let's click like this make it make it open the thing and i would like to have borders so border will be will be should be applied everywhere and in this case i have to say one pixel solid and in this case going to be uh, yeah i'll be having a, a triple d basically gray color and next thing is padding this padding will be for meant for uh, the in the 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 spacing inside a particular cell so that's what i'm doing so it's going to be 8 pixels so let me click save and there you go now you are having a so so as you can see here the design is actually not very nice and and because there's some problem going here with index.css we won't be needing any of this by the way we're just gonna remove all those things it's gonna save everything and there you go and of course and this is how it should look like so index.css is like not necessary we can comment everything whatever inside index.css we will be only using app.css by the way and yeah that's it that's the first step here we're gonna we're gonna close we're gonna save everything and then we're gonna close app.css so the next thing i have to add is we have already added the head okay yeah this is the head by the way the next thing is going to be the t body so t body is going to be almost the same as the uh, head that we just made it's going to paste it like this just going to make it oh uh, yeah it's going to make it okay so but then that's the difference is uh, i'm going to make the th i'm going to change all of this by selecting all of this by the way to td okay so by td i make i just made them to td instead i have to click save and this difference going on here the one in the th is actually bold and while the one in the t uh, d is not bold so that's a that's a difference between the one in the top here t head and the one in the bottom here t body so that's the thing that's the thing that i would like to show for the basic ui of how to create a table just the front end part the next part is to actually the one you're going to make use of the the users table the users data which we have fetched using the fetch users uh, function we have created here which we, which we have just used superbase in our previous uh, video here so what we're going to do here we're going to make we're going to call the set users i mean we have already called it it has already been set inside the this users variable like this and we're going to make use of this particular users uh, data and then we can just going to make it like a repeatable uh, group of uh, yeah rows okay that's what i'm going to do here so in this case so since as you can see here all this thing actually is already a, a dummy data here so what you're gonna do here instead of tr i'll be making it like i'll be i'll be like making wrapping this around a curly basis like this okay so yeah this make some space there's some yeah make something and i'm gonna make it map i mean sorry before that i need to call this where uh, users here okay so it's gonna be users dot map it's going to be a function a map function so that inside, inside the map is going to be an arrow function also so it's going to be so inside the map function will be i'll be calling all of this thing okay okay of course i need to make i need to i need to place this uh tr everything inside tr here in i'm going to place it right inside inside here okay i'll be placing it right here like this and I'm just going to make it indent a bit inside okay just make it uh, intent like this and also this one should be indent, intended to be inside a bit more the next thing is that okay since i'm calling the users that i need to be having filling this particular bracket with the name of the object so in this case it's going to say user so because we are actually going through every single data of the users so when i when i'm doing every single so it's going to be user it's going to be calling user every single time a particular one particular user so in this case when i'm calling the user i'll be calling their data so in this case i'll be calling user dot id so that's the first one like this is basically coming from your superbase crude here 
So as you can see, I have the table called users table. So I have a, I have just one element here, which is ID, name, age, which which this which is just my data here, this one dummy data here. So I'm just gonna make it. I'm just gonna call this data in this to inside here inside this table. So in this case, I'll have to make it like user like yeah, call it user dot name. So that's a that's a second thing. The third thing will be uh, the age by the way. So user dot age. Okay. So I'll have to click save. Let's go here and there you go. You have it, which is your your all you have to do. Just need to meet, just gonna call it, uh, the function that you have just fetched. I mean, yeah, you have fetched this particular API. And if uh, yeah, I mean you have fetched this particular uh, data that's coming from Superbase in the form of JSON API, and then you set it to the, your set users variable, which is called users, and we and then we're directly taking that uh, variable and it, and then we're just mapping it through like this. So that's the way how are we able to make a simple uh, table a fetch response here because we have already covered this particular fetch code here in the previous video you can actually look in that video also so the next thing is that let's give it a check on how are we able to make uh, how to say like a change to this particular table whenever when we make and so i mean whenever when we add a particular uh, uh how do you say yeah whenever when we add a particular uh, row as you can see let's i'll have to add another row here in this case it's going to be an automatic id we don't need to do anything and the next thing is that i like to say i mean I to put a name called a second name called john doe okay so john doe and then this is it's going to be 24 just one year older than me click save and there you go you have you are having you already have created that particular record of that person here and as you can see here there's no uh, connection here yet but we can just click on refresh so as you can see when i click on refresh i was able to uh, get this particular second data that's coming directly from the superbase.com as well and before that uh, i think i might miss this particular part of the uh, video well you need to actually uh, import app.css uh, yeah uh, file here it's a css file which we have supposed to be calling it inside our uh, yeah top here so that you're able to see the the styling differences because I'm, I'm i mean if you don't have this particular line of code you might not be able to view this particular uh, style of this css or you, let's see if i comment this and you might and, and you'll be only be able to see like this here so it's really important to import your app.css file and and that's it i think we are able to move on with here so this is the this is the end of this part, part of the video where i just need to walk you guys through on how to how to actually to fetch data that's coming directly from this super base here and once we have fetched the next thing is to actually destructure that particular fetched data which is in the form of api and destructure it and make it into a reusable like a reusable data that can that can be used used to map through this particular table so and that's the thing and that's it for this part of the video let's meet up in the next part where i'll be walking you guys through the next uh method which is to fetch which is to i mean now it's fetch the next thing is to actually we need to post the data to the particular super base uh, table so thank you guys for watching till here and let's meet in the next video thanks